Hi, this is Ryan with a post-game commentary of the Shadow match between Generic and Black RZV. This was recorded by Bowen White, and there was no audio, so... Let's see, so we have um, Utsuro Sayonai Chikage versus Yurina, Yukihi, and Myra. Looks like it's level 99 versions, for the most part, except for Utsuro is stronger. Pseudo. Uh, let's see. I think a common ban here would be Chikage, but I think the correct ban is possibly Tsuro or or Sine. It's one of those two. And Chikage is banned. Okay. So we're seeing some pretty typical normals brought from Generic. Final stage for uh, Black RZB, which will punish Endless Snow if it's brought, currently not selected. Erosion is a bad card, and it was brought. Oh, the, the Gentle Snow did get brought. Okay. I wonder if it'll be a final stage game then. Okay. Generic mulling away, I believe that was Hidden Power Chain Reel. Black RCV mulling away, Dark Pulse, and... I missed the other card. I know I would have kept Dark Pulse, though, in that situation. Because it's something you'll be able to play by turn two. Alright, turn one playing pressure from hand. I feel like generally you're better off just using that for a basic action at this point in the game, but this would let him perform a recover action without moving forward. On the other hand, you're also just making it easier for your opponent to move forward to you at this point. That said, making Shadow does make it easier to play any enhancements you might have, including this reaction that he's holding, so that's not terrible. This card's Art of Drawing to move forward. That makes sense, because you're probably not going to be able to play it this pass through. If it was the last draw in your deck, you might keep it for after your reshuffle, because you'll probably be around that range by then. But Generic's kind of doing the Yukihi build where you try to replay Endless Snow constantly, and that does require you to keep uh, preparation in your hand, which limits how many reactions and such you could hold. Would be nice if Generic had moved up his Umbrella State to the board from off-camera, but I think it's safe to assume that he's closed Umbrella right now. All right. Probably going to see the 2 2 come out here. This should always go to Aura. Good. Now theoretically that attack could have been dodged too though, so there was a question there because the shadow was sitting there to be reacted against. But taking it to aura makes it easier to advance, which is beneficial for the Yuki Arena game plan here.
I don't know about that. I think... Hmm. Discarding your 3-1 is very sad. Oh, well, okay. I complained about the umbrella and now we have this. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's the umbrella. We could have played two three ones this turn if we decided to keep different cards. But here we are. Black cards would be not reacting to that attack. And generic choosing to keep the umbrella open. This makes the reaction more potent against Dark Pulse and some of Sign Agnet Zero's normals, but it also limits generic's options next turn. Black like RZV focusing. This is going to be a a greedy swing rush play. Alright, we're dark pulsing. So this gets beat by the Yukihi reaction. Yep, very good. Forward. Hmm. That's not the greatest against Urena and Open Umbrella, Yukihi, but. It's not necessarily awful. Yukihi can't do a whole lot when her umbrella is open. If you have aura. If you have no aura, then Yukihi will. Absolutely punish you for having no aura. In fact, moving to range 2 is pretty dangerous if you don't know that Yukihi is running the uh, swing pierce throughout. You could have just taken two life damage for moving to range two. Alright. So we're going to chain reel, which, if it's not broken in some way, will put us to range zero. Which just makes it so Black RZV can't do anything. I feel like throwing out the reaction probably would have been fine there. He would have done an aura damage to your opponent and got uh, more distance as an action. And then you can put it back into your deck for a reshuffle. Not too far from Ashen, which would make pressure better, but... In fact... With a little bit more... 
Yeah, if he had played the reaction, that would have made two more shadow. Well, okay, one more shadow because one of them would have gone to distance. Yeah, all right. That wouldn't have made a big difference. But it would have put pressure closer to being active in Ashen. Okay, pressure. Not particularly threatening. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be much follow up. Maybe just discard a card to recover and pass. Because nobody's doing anything at this range. Although reasonably considered that there's just no respect being made for Pierce here. And I think Pierce is actually very strong with uh, the pair Urena Yukihi. Because Urena likes to be at route range 3, range 3 or 4. 3 being her best range, more or less. And if you're at range 2, things like Art of Drawing or whatever are less good. But if, if you're at range 2, then you can hit with Pierce, as long as they don't have a reaction to back up. And... Once you hit them with Pierce, they're not going to want to stay at range 2 or less anymore. So they have to kind of back into your Urena ranges. Assuming you're over an umbrella. And it's also just the only really th real threat when you are over an umbrella. Because your other normals are oh, like cancelled by a single basic action. So this is just does one aura damage. Or not cancelled, but you know, undone by. The economy here is really weak, as you can see. However, it looks like he is going to get to like whip brandish this turn. Yep, simple retreat, and then oh, paying with aura. Hmm. Not sure why you would do that. Oh, okay. Got it. And a 2 2. Now, if you have Icebreaker, this is where you Icebreaker. Doesn't look like it's happening. And a last recover. Setting up for Art of Drawing next turn. Because you're not going to spend Vigor anyway. But you're about to get Womboed by Sine. Here comes Hilt Slam, Cut Down, Swing Rush, Dark Pulse. And that life difference is going to be evened out. Swing Rush would get beat by the Yukihi reaction here, so... It might be a mistake to just throw it out. We'll see. Goes for it. Let's see how Generic decides to take this damage. Going to zero aura is certainly risky when you know that the 1-2 is on the table, or even that the 2-2 two -two is a potential threat. If Black Rizzi goes to range 5, yeah, there's two life damage spread. So I think you probably take both of these two ones to life here. As generic. 
you can see his hand though hovering over uh, Dark Pulse and his track cards there. Having said that, maybe it would have been better to open with Dark Pulse just to uh, ensure that they don't have the reaction. But well, it's a gamble on both sides, and the gamble is paying off for Black RZB here. Oh, no. You see some, some mind changing here from Eric. One like two R is indeed a steep cost to pay. What? You can't do that. No, oh no. <laughs> Hands been tipped. Okay. One life, yeah. You gotta continue taking that. Oh, two one. There we go. Two life damage taken. The Aeronami Storm revealed. Okay, let's see what's next for on Black RZV. Staying at this range is going to get him punished pretty hard, so... Unless he dark pulses that art of drawing out of generic sand, which... Frankly, is probably what's about to happen. There we go. Crisis averted. Whoa, generic taking that as two life damage. That's scary, but I guess that keeps the 4-3 on the table next turn. Which in turn will let Black RZV just completely annihilate him with any specials he's got. On the other hand, Black RZV needs to be more scared of generic specials because there's Swing Flame and Suke Kage Crush. Okay, I don't think that was the correct thing to do here. I think you're fine taking that one life, and then you could even reshuffle to put yourself into Resolve if you needed to. You need to keep Uranami Storm around so that you can stay alive while you're at while you're at resolve with three life. And you've also just removed the threat of uh, Swaying Flame and Tsukikage Crush. Which is, like, it should be more of a deterrent than Uranami Storm blocking a single attack. Okay, and yeah, we just slam out of drawing here, probably. That's incredibly reckless, but that might be the vibe. Okay. One aura art of drawing, let's go. Icebreaker. Well, that makes Black RZB's next turn much less threatening, so... There's still a lot of punishes on the table, though. Especially from Utsuro. Yeah, no, this is bad. Yeah, you do want that card, probably not enough to take the tempo loss and burnout damage. Mm. 
Ein sehr UIV. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Hmm. So you're five vigor away from doing the three life to shadow special. Assuming you had it, I don't think you do. All right, choosing violence. Dash two. Gets beat by the Yuki Fuji action. There's probably not a reason to respect Pierce after you see Art of Drawing, because running through the dreads would be very clunky. Mm, sitting at range 3 with your swing rush and one vigor. Mm. Don't know about it. Okay. Generic checking his last card by pulling it into his hand. Looks like he's going to reshuffle after seeing what it is. Not sure why I just saw the life come back from player level. Okay. Oh, I see. He did the frustration damage to look at the top card. And then decided to take that back, and now it's reshuffling. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this hand is not good enough by itself. Three one. Yeah, you can ice break through that. But if you icebreaker it, then your final stage goes offline. All right. Also, one vigor away from the three like to shadow special, so that's very threatening at this point. All right, making a decision to do something here. Let's see. Recovers one. Okay, now we're going straight back to where we started. Okay, we're back here again. Oh, we are throwing out the attack. Okay. That has to go to Aura. You can Icebreaker it, but that seems kind of silly. Mm -hmm. What? It's a very rough spot for generic to be in, but yeah, you're probably best to keep the reaction.
pressure is very strong here. Honestly, you should probably have played Pressure before doing anything else to see what the opponent does with it. If they have the audacity to take the Pressure token from Aura, then they're really opening themselves up. But when you telegraph that you're going to go to range 4 beforehand, then they can kind of know what to expect. Oh, he still takes it from Aura. Hmm, I guess you don't have the actions to get to range 5 though, so it's still safe. Cut down. What? Taking it to life. Okay. Dark balls. We're going back to range three. Our drawing is theoretically lethal. We know about Icebreaker. I don't think there are any specials that it loses to here. 